With the federal government shutdown now underway, ham radio is also feeling the effects. So what does this mean for you? Let's break it down in today's video. After the United States Congress failed to pass a funding bill on Tuesday, September 30th, the federal government has now entered into a shutdown, and the list of agencies that are affected includes the FCC. So what does this mean for amateur radio? On September 30th, the day before the shutdown went into effect, the FCC released a public notice titled Impact of Potential Lapse in Funding on Commission Operations, and they announced that most operations would be suspended starting October 1st. But the biggest impact of this shutdown appears to be to new licenses license applicants or anyone looking to upgrade their license class. And during this shutdown, most FCC systems are offline and new applications are not being processed. And while some tools like the FCC's CORS registration system are still available, new registrations and applications for FCC registration numbers or FRNs are not being processed during this shutdown. And this means if you don't already have an FRN, you cannot apply for one until after the shutdown ends and any outstanding applications will not be processed until after the shutdown ends. And without an FRN, you cannot officially take an amateur radio license exam. But according to an article posted to the ARRL's website, given the current situation, there is an active discussion within the testing community about temporarily allowing testing without an FRN with the understanding that one, the applicant would take the exam and receive a certificate of successful completion of examination. Two, once CORS resumes issuing new registrations, the applicant would register for an FRN, contact the CORS coordinating VEC with their FRN and have their application submitted retroactively. This approach would preserve momentum for new licensees and avoid delays in testing. However, it is important to remember that even if you take an exam during the shutdown, your application won't be processed until after the FCC resumes normal operations. That means new amateur radio licenses, license upgrades, and club applications are all on hold. Still, the ARRL is encouraging volunteer examiners to keep hosting amateur radio licenses licensing sessions. Also stating in the article that I mentioned earlier, ARRL volunteer examiners should continue giving exam sessions, keep doing what you're doing, keep serving new and upgrade candidates for amateur radio licenses. Another big impact with the shutdown, the FCC's universal licensing system is down as well. And during the shutdown, the ULS database is offline to the public. So license manager, license search, and application search are unavailable. This means that you can't file applications or look up license information information during the shutdown. So what does this mean for you? If you're brand new to amateur radio, are looking to take your first amateur radio license exam and don't yet have an FRN, do not let this discourage you. Use this time to study even more and prepare for your exam. And if you already have an FRN but have not tested yet, you can still test. But expect processing delays because applications won't be processed until after the shutdown ends. And if you need to file changes to your amateur radio license or any other kind of new application, you'll have to wait until the shutdown ends and the FCC resumes normal operations. If you want to apply for a vanity call sign or a club call sign, or if you need to look up license information in the ULS database, you'll have to wait until the shutdown ends to do all of that too. So how long will all of this last? It could be days, weeks, maybe even longer. We just don't know yet and we have to be patient. So I'd like to hear from you. How is this shutdown affecting your ham radio plans? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you missed my last video, I talked about how this government shutdown could potentially affect ham radio activities like parks on the air. So if you'd like to take a look at that video, click right there and it'll take you right to that video. And if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell as well so you get notified when I upload new videos. And thank you guys so much for watching as always, and until next time, 73.